M0 FXB Heltec version 4 just arrived here. Looks very neat. Came with a GPS module and an antenna plus a few other cables. So I thought I'd quickly load my Tastic on it and see how long it takes. So on the right hand side, we've got the flasher and on the left hand side, the main website. Let's just connect the antenna first. You can see now you could put an external antenna on this, um, but this one comes with this metal bar antenna. So we're just going to clip that into place because it is quite naughty to, to ever let it transmit without that connected. Once connected, look, it sort of swivels. That's when you know that you don't want to bend the outside. And it's come with this GPS antenna, which I actually didn't know it came with. Um, so I'm just going to push that into place. It only fits on one way around, so let's get it the right way around. And there's your little GPS module that's connected. And the fact that it's all there, because don't it, this will go in a nice case eventually. Uh, but it, I mean, look at it, I just it's just a tech person's dream and inexpensive. I'll put the link in. So what we're going to do now is, and there are more connectors here, as you can see, is just put the put my um, USB cable into it that's already connected to my PC. Now, there might already be a mesh tastic on it. I haven't even checked, to be honest. Yeah, it looks like, um, let's have a look. Just let it, because I've not configured. I've got the app ready in the background. There is an app that you can, uh, so it just says LoRa mode for now. And if you're not familiar with these kind of, you know, operations, let's call it, um, because they have Wi-Fi, they are, and they have a built-in radio, 868 megahertz in the EU, we can radio from this device to another device and create a mesh, like a spider's web of off-grid communication. So if we go right-click device manager, just get my comm number now that that's plugged into the PC. You do need a data cable, not just a cheap charging cable. So, oh, 87, COM 87. So now let's see if Mistastic Flasher auto detects. So go to this link here, flasher.mistastic.org. And let's just move this out of the way. And we're going to go select target and we're going to go auto detect. And then we're going to choose the 87 port. And if we're lucky, it will find it and it hasn't. Okay, but that's all right because it will be in the list anyway. Let's just try one more time. 87 connect. No. Right, that's okay. Well, let's find it in the list. There it is there. Quite far down on the left there. Heltec version 4. Click that. And then I always add the here. If you go beta, I always go to the alpha. That's the newest one. And then flash. And I will tell it to erase. So you get, you know, all the work they've put into this. Uh, continue. And then we're going to go erase and flash. Same com number. Paired, it says there connect and let it do its thing and it will erase it then it will load the latest version of Meshtastic which is quite good actually it's got some nice selections there and you've got the button if you look here if I just make it a bit bigger and we'll get our phone ready as well we'll get you to see that um, but you've got buttons at the top and the bottom here for selection reset Give that a few more minutes. And then on your phone, it says there it's complete and writing. On your phone, yeah, just download the Meshtastic app. Just go into Play Store and download the Meshtastic app, which we've got ready now. And it looks like it's rebooting. Okay. And it's not very bright, is it? It must be a brightness setting there somewhere. It says, welcome to Meshtastic. Click to navigate and long press to select or open the menu. Okay, I'm just gonna click, click here. I think that's the reset. And I'm gonna go on my phone or, or onto Bluetooth. Okay, so app is here. Swipe down, just make sure your Bluetooth's on. And it's actually found it. I click scan, it found this one here. Uh, so once it starts, we're going to select like so, and the number comes up six five seven nine nine seven. Pair. Now I'm on the USB cable here, but you can add a add a, a five five volt battery. So that's now going to load. It's not going to pick up much inside this room. Then we're going to select the region, 
and like so we'll go to European Union and save and as it saves it goes back and forth and then reboots and really you're ready to go now just look at the channels see what you're receiving So it says Mesh Tastic here, EU868. Back on. That's a channel there. I'm not going to get anything in this room, but we are connected. See, that's green here. Okay, I'm pretty sure the cloud means MQTT, which is like the internet connection. Map. So there we are. I wonder if our GPS is is getting a, a connection here zoom in here I'm tapping yeah that is pretty much where I am so that's that's working even though it does say disconnected there <laughs> uh, it's, it was um, which one was it this top one wasn't it let's reconnect you want this red to go green see that it's gone green now we're back connected. You connect via Wi-Fi after configuration, and then you can do a serial connection. And uh, go to your channel. And you go. Hi. I don't think you're going to get any. Well, I know you're not going to get anyone in this room. But we just sent a message there, and I wonder if my let me just grab my Lily Go. And it says one new message. Long fast, and there it is. Hi. I'm going to go. M O F. XB and we're in the same room uh, so uh, it's gonna get it MOFXB should come up here look so you know it's working and then the idea is that, you know imagine if this is up high somewhere and someone else you know you've got repeaters now haven't you especially with the mesh core growing and I'm going to load that as well um, repeaters there and then repeating and everyone's talking and chatting and having a friendly time and sharing location and text messages with no internet. Remember that, no internet. Bye for now, all the best.